attic open already. Anyway, hi gang, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic. As it's Halloween, I think we should look at something a bit spooky. Okay gang, I know this game holds a lot of special memories to a lot of people and well, me too. I've had this game since 1988. It's the first game that I ever remember owning and playing. Wobbly floorboards, falling axes and screaming skulls. We're looking at Ghost Castle. Let's take a look at this thing. This game's gone through a number of different guises throughout the years. The game was first released under the name Witch Witch in 1970, 15 years prior to Ghost Castle. And there's also a real Ghostbusters reskin of the game that's kind of difficult to find. But even though Ghost Castle had a very narrow window of production, only one year, it seems to be the one that most people I speak to are familiar with. And it's really not surprising. The commercial, the box art, and the new theme all together make for a darker and more immersive experience. This box with the kids illuminated while shrouded in darkness, I can't explain why this imprinted so deeply on me, but it really did. The box components did likewise. Ghost Castle is a 3D board game, and the traps are all set up before the game starts. This is a really gorgeous looking board game. The board is divided into four separate rooms that you'll have to journey through. The woods and castle gate, the hall, the laboratory and the dungeon leading to the castle tower. The plastic pieces all look and feel pretty solid, though as to be expected with a game this old, parts can and do break. The axe seems to be a regular broken part, as are these tabs that hold the halves of the castle together. The art for this game is iconic. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. What is that? What the hell was that? Moving on. This demonic tree in the woods used to give me nightmares, but the airbrushed art is all just so good. And it reminds me of old VHS box art from the time. And the details that are included. This wolf in the stairwell, the ghost in the hall, eyes peering through the cracks, giant bats. It's all classic horror tropes, but there's something indescribably dark about how the art is styled. I can't quite put my finger on why. The game is really very simple to play. The Screaming Skull has been released from its tomb and is causing havoc. You will have to brave the ghost castle to climb the stair and close the coffin and break the curse. Pick a character and everyone starts outside the castle in the woods by the creepy tree. Roll the dice to see how far you move. Everyone is following along the same path. You follow the footsteps along and into the castle. Before your turn ends, you spin the spider spinner and this is what makes the game interesting. You might get lucky and have the spinner land on roll again, but more likely you'll land on one of the other spaces. First, you might be unfortunate to get a scared stiff mask, and this can be a real nuisance. Scared stiff means that you're frozen in fright, that's right. Until you spin a foot on the spinner, you're going absolutely nowhere. This is pure luck that you spin on land on a mask, and luck again spinning a foot to cure it. The most likely outcome of spinning the spider spinner is the skull, and this means you drop the screaming skull down through the coffin, activating one of the four traps. Scattered around the board are holes for the skull to fall out of and activate the traps. It can knock over the axe to cut you to bits, shake the floorboard so you fall, activate a secret panel causing a skeleton to attack you or knock you down the stairs. The skull actually glows in the dark, which was so cool as a kid. We'd want to play this game in a dimly lit room. And whenever we drop the skull down the coffin, we'd chant, Skull, 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 skull. The skull also has a small ball bearing in it, causing it to wobble and this really helps with randomising the shoot it falls out of. Getting hit by the skull means that you go back to the start of that room, indicated by a glue footprint. These act like checkpoints so even if you're knocked over, you don't go all the way back to the start. Danger spots are indicated by the red footprints. Certain rooms have the option of avoiding danger spots by taking a longer route. 
In the laboratory, if you're lucky, you can jump through this false mirror, something that's always made me smile. Getting to the top of the tower requires an exact roll, which can be really tedious and can put you back down the stairs in harm's way. However, climb to the top and the final space will automatically close the coffin lid, something that wasn't needed but is a really great touch. Ghost Castle is a very simple game at its heart. It's almost all about luck. Look what you roll, look what you spin, look what traps activated by dropping the skull down the coffin, and does it make it any less fun? Hmm, well, ordinarily I would say yes, and there are certain parts of this game that will really irk you. Being stuck in one place with a scared stiff mask and not getting to move or play can get irritating, but activating the traps and thwarting your opponent's progress never gets old. My favourite is sending the skull down the stairs. As basic as the rules are for this game, my friends still want to play it, they're drawn to it and perhaps this is because this game is near and dear to me and my friends, but we're more forgiving about its faults than we probably should be. I still really enjoy this game, despite its simplicity. It may seem smaller to me now than my three year old self, but this game still impresses me with its artwork and presence. I mean. It just looks fantastic, it really does. If you can track down a vintage copy like this one, play it with some friends and it'll bring back nostalgia in droves. And if you can't find a vintage copy, well, there's a brand new reimagining of Ghost Castle out right now. Right now of this review coming out, there's a brand new version of Ghost Castle out and I've got to recommend it. I mean, I truly love this game. Ghost Castle, it's a classic. Right, well, review's done. I'd uh, best get this thing back up into the attic. Skull, 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 what the hell was that? Hey, Bonehead!
I guess the cat's out the bag now.